I think you can tell what my favorite easter egg is. Yo, what's up everybody? It's been a while, but KP here. Today we're going to be talking about Astral's Playroom. I actually did a little bit of Wikipedia research beforehand. This game released on November 20th of the year 2020 by Team Asobi. And it actually comes pre-installed on your PS5. So it's pretty cool that as soon as you buy a PS5 you have a game already to play. And this is a really fun platformer. Here's a few clips from my Twitch streams. Oh, we have a little floaty. <laughs> That's cute. Can you punch the bird? Oh! oh That's so mean, I'm sorry! <laughs> No, you even see it. It's it's actually a drone, so there's there's nothing bad that happened. <laughs> yeah, this is so fluid. Oh, I almost died. <laughs> Yo, Loki, this song's a banger. So the gambling addiction begins. Well, oh, dude, this is so gnarly. What the heck? Yeah, I can imagine speedrunning this. How do people do it so fast? <laughs> oh, I was trying to grab. Oh, oh no, the poor monkey. <laughs> I had a blast playing this game. I haven't played a good platformer in a long time. I think the last platformer that's new-ish that I remember is probably um, Crash 4. I play that all the time or Celeste. One of the things I found really interesting about this game is that it really uses the features of the PlayStation 5 controller. Like a lot of the mechanics in the game or like powers or suits um, that you utilize, they all use different features of the controller. I thought this was pretty dope. It makes sense since it's a game that comes installed on the PlayStation 5 and wants to utilize all those features. Uh, although I'm not a fan of blowing on the controller, that's probably one of the features I didn't like, but it was really cool to see how creative they got with using all the powers and suits. It was also really cool to see some of the references that were shown in the game. Uh, these are some of my favorites right here, so let's take a look. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, is this Monster Hunter? Yo, this is sick. <laughs> I found my favorite. Actually, the Solid Snake one is pretty hard to beat. It just keeps going. Oh! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> Overall, I would say if you're into platformers and you have a PlayStation 5, you should definitely give this game a try. The fact that it's free, like, might as well go for it, you know? And uh, this was my first game that I ever got a Platinum in for the PS5. It did not take me too long to actually get the Platinum. I think it took me around six hours. And that was me um, not like fully dedicating to it. You could probably, I'm pretty sure people have done it in less than six hours. But yeah, it was, it was a pretty nice chill Platinum to get. I've only ever gotten two. Spiral 3 100% on PS4. And then uh, this one, this was my first one on the PS5. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I'll see y'all next time. Take care. On a side note, this is a game I could see myself speedrunning, or at the very least improving my uh, network speedrun times.